Let's take a look at a little more of an aggressive approach as to solving this kind of question about how many valid subnets we have. And I've got another practice exam question for you here. How many valid subnets are on the 150.10.00/21 network? Well, this is where having your class A, B, and C ranges and mass down cold save you a lot of time on exam day and, of course, a lot of points as well. Because you can look at that at this point and say, okay, I know two things about that immediately. First off, I know it's a class B network. Second, I know the class B network mask is slash 16. So what am I going to do with that information? Well, if you take the number of bits in the subnet mask, and you subtract the number of bits in the network mask, you have the number of subnet bits. You don't have to write anything out. So this particular network was a slash 21. That's what we were given. So we've got slash 21, and we know we have 16 bits in the network mask of a class B network, so you know five subnet bits were borrowed. That's it. So we take 2 to the 5th power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and you know how many valid subnets you have. And 2 to the 5th power is 32, so you have 32 valid subnets. See how fast that was? I mean, it's lightning fast. So let's take 200.110/27. Especially if you haven't seen this video before yet, go ahead and stop the video, or just do this one in your head, and tell me how many valid subnets we have here. 200.110/27. What two things do we know about this network? First off, we know it's a Class C network. No problem. We've got those ranges down. We see 200 in the first octet. We know it's a Class C. What is the network mask for a Class C network? It's slash 24. So 27 minus 24 equals 3. You got three subnet bits, 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and you're done. And you could probably look at that one and do it without even writing anything down. If you could, fantastic, nice work. But again, you see where prefix notation really comes in handy here too. Now, you know, to use this method, if Cisco gave you or I gave you or a job interview gave you, you know, 200.110 and then gave you the mask in dotted decimal, then of course you'd have to convert it to prefix notation. But that's easy, you know how to do that. Just, just get the number of consecutive ones at the beginning of the mask. So now that we have taken a look at the longer method of getting the number of valid subnets and the shorter method as well, we need to get these valid hosts down because obviously we got to know how many valid subnets we have, but we also have to know the number of valid hosts we have on each one of those subnets. And notice that I keep seeing the word valid. You know, we, we haven't seen any invalid numbers yet. But I have a feeling we just might when we're working with those valid hosts, and that is coming up next.